Welcome to the talk show, and I just fell, but, no, oh, my head, okay. Okay, uh, welcome to my talk show. And my name is Dan, and I'm here to talk about some stuff, because, you know, that's what a talk show is for. It's not just for talking, I guess, but we can discuss things. And, uh, Dad! Fucking damn, my daughter. Dad! What? This is my talk show. No, it's not. Not anymore. Your dad has taken over. It's your... It's time for a man to shine. And that's me. No, Dad. This is my show. I made it. Now get off. No, honey. I will never get off. I will forever succeed in my talk show. This is Dan's talk show. Not... Your talk show. This is my talk show. You make your own. But, Dad, I planned it. You know this. I know, but, uh, it's my time, like I said. My time to shine. Now get out of my face. <sighs> Fine. I will get revenge. Whatever. My daughter can be an ass, but that's okay. So we, yes, this is, uh, my talk show, and, uh, yeah. You know, you should totally hit me up on kick, you know. I'm really, a really big hit there. I mean, who wouldn't like my flawless body? I'm really toned, got the abs, got everything you need. Yeah, I'm really nice. Mmm. Very. So, uh... What you ladies, uh, ladies watching this show? Ladies, uh... I'm a big fan of you. Can we take a moment? to decipher what the hell just happened, like a floating head just approached me. I don't know how to feel. I'm really scared, and, uh... I'm kinda questioning this talk show right about now, because I do not want that again. I don't want that head. Security! Security, please come and, uh, dispose of this... this rotten head floating around and telling me that they're a big fan of me. I don't really appreciate this. Security, please. Security! What are you all doing over there? Having a pizza party? Not even inviting me? How rude. Woohoo! Yeah! We're partying! Yeah! The security is partying! Woo! Damn it, Jared! Can you not? No. And my name is not Jared. It's Scout! Ah! <laughs> Why do you do this to me? What have I ever done to you? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Y'all drunk as fuck, nigga. Damn! I'm moving. I am not... Not hanging around you two. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm shedding some tears right now. I have no idea what's happening. This talk show has gone whack. What the heck is happening? I really don't know anymore. Uh, let's see, I've just been, like, assaulted by a freaking head, and now I look over at my security and they're having, like, a drunk pizza party without me inviting. Fucking Freddy Fazbear is going to attack them for the pizza. Jesus Christ. Where'd they even get that pizza from? Probably Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. I don't even know, man. It's kind of creepy. I don't know. They're just partying without me. Yeah! Fuck you! Scout, please. Do not ever do that again in my talk show. Look at this. Look at this. You made the couch freaking explode. It's a disgrace. I don't care. Well, guess what? You're gonna start carrying in a minute, bud. Get out of here. 
go back to your stupid game. Whatever team you're on, I don't really care anymore. I gotta fix my couch. Freaking exploded. Honey, I think it's time that you stop this talk show because you're getting a little bit out of hand. No, I will do as I say. Dan does what he pleases. Dan wants to party and Dan will get his damn party. Honey, please, you're scaring the viewers. I am not. I am appealing to the viewers. The viewers love me. I don't know what you're saying. You're just spewing out random nonsense. No, I'm not. I'm telling the truth. You're probably freaking them out. They probably don't ever want to watch this talk show again. And first of all, this isn't even your talk show. This is your daughter's talk show. You just bombed it. Now they'll probably never want to watch it. Excuse me? But I cannot hear you under the sound of my highly dadness. Go, honey. I will take care of this. <sighs> Fine. And, uh, you will not get pizza for a month. Because you're stupid. Huh. <laughs> I can just go bomb that drunk party over there. They have pizza. I don't need your pizza, honey. Uh, probably, probably infected it with your mom hands. It's time for me to move. Holy fuck, I kicked Scout really far. He's probably suffering. Good. He made me suffer. Alright, Dev. What's up? What is up? What are you guys doing over here? Oh, we're just partying because partying's fun. Yeah, but you're my security. Where were you when I needed you? When a floating head was approaching me? Where were you? You weren't here for me. <sighs> Come on, Dan. You're a man. You're, you're a yaoi man. Come on, you got this. You don't need security. You can just punch the head back. Oh, you don't understand. It was a sniper head. Do you know how terrifying sniper heads are? They just float around, and they just come at you, and they're like, and it's really terrifying. I don't want that approaching me again. God damn it, I fell. Um, I don't know what you're going through, but, um, that's obviously a squirrel head. What'd I just say? I don't even remember, but okay. Oh no, I fell. Yo, this party wag as fuck. I'm leaving. Don't do alcohol. <laughs> Don't do alcohol or drugs, kids, because it's not cool. Oh no, it's coming. It's coming. Oh no, it's got me. Help me. Help me, please. I'm an innocent 23-year-old dad. Wait. I wish I was 23. I'm actually 33. Oh yeah, go near s Scout. Scoot. Whatever his name is, I don't even care anymore. I need to get back to my talk show. Oh my god, why am I walking like this, please? Oh my god, what's going on? Ugh. And that was the end of the talk show, because Dan has passed out, because so much has happened. This talk show sucks. Ha 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 ha.